hey guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be my second project pan update if you guys haven't seen the intro or the first update i will try and put them down below in the description so you guys could go ahead and see them so these are my project pan products the first thing i have here is the jurette clinger this is the primer I have used this a lot. Uh, I have my tallies here. Mm -mm. So I've used this 16 times. This product goes for $32. Um, I got this in a subscription, so I didn't pay for this um i used it 16 times like i said i feel like i'll be done by the end of this month because the product is around there this is the only one where i can't really fold or mark because i don't really know exactly where it is but it feels empty from the top all the way up to here so yeah 16 times for that one. I feel like I'll be done by the end of the month. The next thing is the Peerless BB Serum. I've used this one five times since the last update. Uh, this one I did mark it, but for some reason the marks went away. So I feel like it is now there. I also feel like I'll use this up at the end of this month because I'm so close to finishing it. And the weather is getting better so I could start putting more makeup on and stuff like that. Oh my god, I'm sweaty. Okay, so moving on. I have the Ulta Beauty Rosewater Facial Mist. My friend gave me this one. This costs $10. I used this 45 times as you can see from the from the last update now it's up here I also feel like I'll finish this in August I mean September Ugh. I'll finish this in September so that is that the next thing I have is the covergirl clean fresh powder i used it three times it retails for twelve dollars so this is how it looks like the thing with this is if you guys remember how it looked before it was pretty good now um it kind of looks like this oh oh it looks like this so i am gonna be rolling this out there's no way no way that i could use this at all so i'm gonna go ahead and take that out of the project pan and try to include a new one uh, i'll include it at the end because i don't know what i'm gonna include yet okay so the next thing that i have is this it's called Buke Wine Lip Crayon. This retail for $22. I've used it one time. Um, I probably should have decluttered this in my decluttering video because I hate this color on me. It looks not nice. So I'm debating if I should roll this out or try to use half of it. Um... So I'm going to try to use half of it, even if it's just at home, because I feel like, I don't know, I got it in a subscription, so I shouldn't feel that bad, but, um, yeah, I guess I'll leave that one in for next, for the next update. So the next thing I have is the About Face Purely Eye Cream, I mean Eye Crayon. I've used it two times, it retails for $14.00.
I feel like I'll be done with this one also in the month of September. I feel like in two weeks I'll finish this maybe. So I'm going to leave this one in the project pan. I've only used it two times. The formula is technically a little bit dry. But I'm going to try to use it all up. And then by the next project pan it should be empty. So moving on. The next thing I have is the Maybelline New York uh, 199 More Ruby. I've used this three times and it retails for $9. So it looks like this. I love this color so much. The only thing is that it doesn't go up anymore. So I guess you would consider this one of my empties for this project pan because it does not go up anymore. I didn't really use the product, but there's no way all in the product is stuck up there too. And it's just a mess. So this is also getting rolled out. I'm going to get makeup wipe and clean it off. And the last thing I have is the Laguna. Can't see. The Laguna Herbals Nail and Cuticle Serum. I used it three times and it retails for $25. I also got it in a subscription. So I didn't pay directly for the product. As you can see the line right. Can you see the line? The line right there. So I have used quite a bit. It is below from where I started so that is good. I'm making a little bit of progress. I think this will take me up to maybe two, three months. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and roll in two new products to take over these two that I am rolling out. So I'm going to go and look for something. Let me see. I'm literally in my vanity, so that is awesome. So this is a lipstick. I am going to um, I'm not sure what I'll put in here exactly. Uh I'm debating between two products. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so rolling out this one, I have these two that I kind of want to roll in, but I can only choose one. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to roll in my Medusa. This is by Medusa Makeup. And this is the shade Social. So this is a before. Quite a bit. Um, I, don't know to, I don't know how we're going to mark it, but yeah. So quite a bit of it is there. I feel like I could use this up in maybe two months. So we'll see. It's a pretty shade. I'm going to go ahead and let me roll it down and swatch it real quick. So it's a light pink shade. It's really cute. So I'm rolling that one in and taking this one out. And then this one. This is a face pressed powder I only have this pressed powder which is literally it's basically new um yeah this is new so I'm not sure if I should you know what I am this is the only similar thing to it so as you can see it is right there I have not used this at all. Can you see? It's right there. I don't really have anything to mark it with. I don't really have a Sharpie. 
Let me see if my pen will work. Well, I'll hold it like this. So that's how you guys know I didn't cheat on this. Um, yeah, so it's like halfway. So I'm rolling this in. This is the Bella Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder High Definition Translucent Powder. And taking this one out because it dried out. Um, I totally forgot about one thing, which is funny. I didn't. Okay, so this is also in my project pan, and I forgot about it. So I'm coming back on here. This is the Perfusion Spectrum Palette. I used it five times. And this retails for $6. Not that bad. I did not hit pan on this myself. I dropped it and then it shattered. Uh, I, I really need to put in work with this one. I feel like the one I could use on a regular basis would be these two. These are a little bit more out there. Mm, so this is going to be hard. So I guess going back to this palette, I would, I'm going to try to hit pan. Well, this one already has pan, right? So I'm going to try to hit pan on the brown and the orange, the beet and ember shades. So my goal for the project pan is to hit pan on both of these. Obviously not at the same time, but just in general, I want to hit pan. And then I'll move this along. I'm also thinking of starting a eyeshadow project pan. Um, but I don't have that many eyeshadows. So if I do that, I guess I have to pick between one of these two. I already have another orange shade and another palette. So I guess going back to this, I'm gonna attempt to hit pan on Ember. Ember, E-M-B-E-R. So I'm gonna try to hit pan on Ember. Of course, I'm gonna still try to use the other shades. Maybe on my days off, I could probably try to use purple colors, blue colors, but for work, I'm pretty sure I could pass. I could go for brown. Um. So yeah, okay then. So that is it for my project pan update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys in my next video. Bye.